Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pritur with Atatur by Vandana. As you know, we are dealing with our big matter in our surroundings or I'm just going to tell you this is the matter in our surroundings part 2. In my first part, I have already told you what is matter, basically the brief introduction, size of the particles and the nature of particles. Now I'm going to tell you about the characteristics of these particles of matter. So, according to kinetic theory of particles of matter, matter has basically three characteristics. The first characteristic is that matters have interparticle spaces in between them. These interparticle spaces are also called as voids. Basically, these particles are arranged, and in these arrangements, there are certain gaps or there are certain spaces which are called as interparticle spaces or voids. So, whenever we dissolve anything, that thing gets fixed in that space which is present in these particles, right? So, whenever we dissolve salt or sugar, those salt and sugar get dissolved in that water without increasing the volume of water. One experiment is there, from that you can see there are interparticle spaces in between these matter. Take a glass of water or half glass of water in that you add certain amount of salt or sugar. What you will find that salt and sugar get dissolved but the volume of that solution does not increase. But uh, there is one criteria like that you should not put extra otherwise the volume will increase. So this is the thing. What is there? There are interparticle spaces in between the matter. Second characteristic of the particles of the matter is that they are moving. They are not fixed at a particular position, right? And this movement increases with the increase in temperature. This can be shown when an incense stick or agarbatti is there at a particular place and it is not lit. Then what you have to do? You have to just go to that incense stick very nearby and then take the smell. You can feel the smell. But when you lit up that agarbatti or incense stick, what happens? The smell of that incense stick or agarbatti is present in the whole room when we do puja or something like that. Then we can feel that fragrance in the whole air. From this, what we can conclude? We can conclude that particles of matter are not fixed at a particular place but they are moving continuously and this movement can be increased with the increase in temperature. The third characteristic of the particles of the matter is that they attract each other. Means there are certain forces, intermolecular forces of attraction present in these particles. From this intermolecular forces of attraction, they attract each other. That's why they have a fixed shape. To feel the strength of this force, you can take three things. One is iron nail, second is a chalk piece and third one is a rubber band. What you have to do, you have to try to break this iron nail, chalk and rubber band. You will find that maximum force is needed to break the iron nail or it is impossible for you to break that iron nail, chalk it is quite easier and the easiest one is rubber band. But there is certain force that is there due to which you have to also apply a force to break that thing that is intermolecular force of attraction. So basically the three characteristics of the particle of matter, first one is that particles of the matter have spaces in between them, interparticle spaces or voids, they move continuously and they have a force of attraction. That is all for today, hope you like this video, if you like please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.